In this session, we will learn about label encoding using functions. So first of all, I'll show you, like I've already shown in my previous session, what is label encoding. Uh, we will work on the train data set, which I have taken from Titanic, uh, which is the Titanic data set and from Kaggle.com. So I'll execute my data. This is my train data set and I'll give a train.info and I'll get the null values. So age, kbin and embarked is null values. I'll drop the kbin and I'll fill the uh, age and embark with the mean and the mode respectively. Okay, so now all the null values is removed and uh, after that we will print the train dot head and we will train dot head is printed and also we will get the features like all the rows and uh, all the rows and columns is moved into features. If you give the features dot shape, you will get this. Now after this we need to uh, call the from sklearn dot preprocessing will uh, use label encoder and we'll create an object of label encoder and suppose in this column uh, zero uh, passenger ID is the zero column zero one two three four five six okay seven eight nine ten so we want to apply this label encoding on the fourth sex is a fourth column and then embark is a tenth column okay suppose we'll apply here okay so if you print features now but we are, we are not able to see this. So what we'll do, we'll execute again this. We'll take this, paste it here. So that now features is converted into a DF. If we DF dot head equal to print. So the column fourth and the column tenth we have converted and that is converted into the numbers. So, and coming back to the label encoding, label encoding is being used to convert all the strings into some categories. Like if we have the country India, Russia, China, US, like which I've already explained in my previous session. So you can take that and it will give a number to every country. Like for India, it will be one, US, it will be two, China, it will be three, Russia, it will be four. In the similar fashion, it goes on. And we do it because mach machine learning algorithm will, will not be able to read any strings. So in, and it will only understand, uh, it will only understand the float and the integers. So this is the sole intention. Now suppose here the two columns like we wanted to convert only two columns through label encoding. So we have coded it twice. But consider the scenario where you have hundreds of columns or 50 or 50 of columns. So will you write this two line again and again like 10 times, 20 times if you want to convert 10 columns. So in that case, you have to do like this every time and then uh, you have to go here and then you have to change the index also right so instead of doing that what we'll do we will create a function okay and then we will pass the all the columns which we need to uh, transform using the label encoding will only pass the, the column index through a list and then we will pass a feature and then it will be automatically converted using the function so how we will do Suppose we have our features, features one is equal to the same train dot iloc. We are taking all the rows and column that way only column. We are not including anything there. And label underscore index here. It will be currently it will be four comma ten, right? Then what will we do? Four comma ten because this two columns we wanted to. I'll show you with some other columns also when we'll be executing this. And df2 is equals to dd dot dot data frame and then we will pass the feature ones. So what is df2? df2 dot head if we pass all these columns are there right. Now we will start with the definition of our uh, label encoder. So define label underscore encode and as I, as I have said we will pass the list. So that list will be something like list one comma feature features one okay and then what we'll do see what will uh, we will run two for loops and through the first for loop we'll run and check the value of each using that label of and if we type here label index of zero the value is four so we'll run through all the index of this label index and the inside loop the inner loop will run through all the like index of my table of my data set so what for i in range 
in the range i'll find the length of my label index label index and then here i'll pass for for j in range features dot shape now first of all if i give here features features one suppose dot shape but i want to like there are 11 columns right i am not concerned here about the rows because we'll apply the label encodings on the column wise not on the row wise so if i want to get this 11 i will type here if i, if I give zero then it is taking the rows then i need to provide here one then it's taking 11 right so we need to provide here one plus one because from zero till it will get there and then we'll give uh, like we'll give a check if j is equals to equals to x of i x of i means the value of this uh, the value of this uh, in zeroth index is 4 and for like when the loop runs if both of them are equal then only i need to convert that column okay then i'll give features Just one colon j because j is my index here the variable is equals uh, also i need to create my this uh, we have already created here but i'll copy this and uh, suppose if this is a separate thing separate entity then we'll create it here okay so it will give code dot fit underscore transform and then we'll transform what we'll transfer the features one colon comma j this x is not there we have what the name of our index is label index we will we will execute this okay it's not throwing any error it's it went fine now what we need to do the main task is now we have to call this function whatever function we have defined label in code followed by what is my label the as per the function the first is a list right list is the label index We'll, we will pass here label index comma after that what is the feature right as per this function features so we have the features one okay we'll execute this now okay fine now we need to also check whether it's converted or not we'll again take this data set here and give it a different name give df 3 dot head so you see and if we give df2 dot head okay what we'll do we'll not execute the this thing uh we'll restart reset it again reset hyphen f then control l because of this uh whatever you executed here we'll just execute till here okay and then we will execute this so what is df2 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 dot head is okay fourth column is male and tenth column is this right so it is not converted now after this we'll execute this entire function as well as this line here then we'll see what is df3 dot head so you see the fourth column and the tenth column is converted using label encoding so here it it sounds a bit complex but when it comes to the huge number of uh, data set huge number of suppose 10 columns or 20 columns at a time you don't like to code in this fashion again and again in everywhere you will change the, all the columns name you can simply pass the different uh, columns name only once and it, the rest will be done for you by this function now suppose it is it is not advisable but still what we will do we will convert the this is the name column this is the ticket column and this is the fair column we will convert everything We'll pass just for the sake of doing like we will pass all the like columns and uh, all these columns three four and we'll see how it is whether all how is the performance whether it is doing it successfully or not we are able to successfully uh, convert it using label encoder or not okay so what we'll do we'll give first df dot head okay df dot head is not defined so we'll simply execute this which is also not defined Okay, and give df dot info. So what will 
uh, this is the column information. Okay, so if you see here, third column is a string, third, fourth, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Third, fourth, and eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay, so what we will do here, our function is with us, we'll simply pass label underscore index one is equal to third, fourth, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay, and we'll pass here this label one, and then we will simply execute this okay if we see pf3 dot head now okay we have not taken this features right so we have to take this features also so we'll execute this everything from here till here everything okay uh, for the time being we'll come this you see everything is converted but this last column by mistake it we have given nine nine one zero okay that's why this is not converted so again we will execute we'll execute uh, yeah because label index also needs to be executed so we'll execute this okay now df3 dot head if we give so you see everything is converted successfully Okay, I hope you understand this session and uh, there can be even simpler way than this to convert. So I found this uh, way quite helpful. So I thought of sharing with you. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this uh, uh, session is helpful, please uh, press the like button and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.